Hey guys, it's Shay from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another Retro Bowl video and welcome to another presentation of Notre Dame Fighting Irish Dynasty League football on Saturday on Skull Gaming Network. And in our current season, Notre Dame is in full on tank mode. Three players Teddy Bosby, Cameron Bradley, and Jay Sweezy are all redshirting this year. If we look, Sweezy's actually played in three games, so he can only play in one more. Must have forgotten to bench him for one. Bosby's played in three games as well. And so has Cameron Bradley. So they each get one more game. They can play up to four games without losing their red shirt. But the games you're actually going to see today... There are two games I tried to win. One is against Wake Forest. They're currently number three, typically have been number one. Of course, what that meant, I had to tank against Michigan, who's been a top 10 team, but they're actually the number one team. The reason being, I want to get all the way to dynamic one to start next season. And the other game, our week one rivalry game against the Indiana Hoosiers. So we're going to cut to gameplay for both of those games. Hopefully you guys enjoy, and we'll do a brief outro at the end. And taking on Indiana week one, we are on the road. Bosby steps back and throws it to Sweezy out of bounds, eight yards. Second and two, and we're going to wait and hit Cameron Bradley. He fights through a tackle, gets 15 yards, which is easily enough for a first down. Then we'll run with Monte Kern. He picks up five yards on the first down carry. Second down coming up. We're going to run with Monte Kern again. See what he can do. Seven more yards. So two carries and 12 yards gets us a first down. We're going back to Monte Kern. Only two yards there. Second and eight. We'll look to pass again, especially because this is a game we're not trying to tank. There we go. We hit Sweezy for eight yards. Third and inches, though. We're just shy of the first. We hit a Luakun. He gets us four yards, gets us the first down. Then we're going to hit Sweezy Cot out of bounds just right at the marker for a first down. Then we hit Cameron Bradley for a nine-yard touchdown. It is 6 nothing fighting Irish. We're going to hit Sweezy for two, and it is 8 nothing. We show up for rivalries indiana with the ball let's see what they're gonna do they're driving they get a touchdown they fail the two it's eight to six back to offense goes notre dame and we throw the ball out of bounds intended for a Luakun. second down we're gonna run it with kern he gets us i believe three yards maybe four Started the second quarter coming up here. I must have had to step away because this is a post commentary. It's 8 6 at the end of the first quarter. Third and seven coming up. So, yes, it was a gain of three by Kern. On third and seven, Bosby fires Aluakun caught 12 yards first down on the sideline. Down to 2.49 left in the half. We want to score with over two minutes left if possible. Aluakun caught gain of six. Second down, and we're evaluating. Aluakun's the target. I didn't mean to stutter back. In the end of things, we get 11 yards and a first down. On first down, we're going to hit Bradley on the out route. He breaks a tackle or two, and he is loose. This is why he was first team all-conference at tight end a year ago. He picks up 39, and we're in First and goal territory, we hit Oluakun. He gets the touchdown. It's 14-6, 2-0-1 left on the clock. All things I like to see if you've watched me play. We fail the two. I should not have run it, but we're up 14-6. And Indiana, back on offense, they make a field goal. So it's 14-9, minute 28 left. Let's get another score. There we go. We hit Kern, gain a nine. Second and one coming up. On second and one, we're going to check down to Monte Kern. We stray thin. We pick up 10, 
we get a first down. On first down, we're going to check down to Monte Kern again. Another catch. A good block from the default 20 yards later. We're down to the 27-yard line, 52 seconds left. We're going to keep going air raid. Cameron Bradley catches it, picks up seven yards. So it's second and three. We hit Bradley again, four yards, first down inside the red zone. Then we're going to hit our wide receiver. That's a Lua Kuhn for 10 yards, and it's first and goal at the five. On first and goal, we're going to run it with Kern, pick up a yard, get the clock inside 20 seconds. Now we're going to air it out to Bradley. Caught three-yard touchdown. It's 20 to 9. We're going for two, and it's 22 to 9 fighting Irish. Indiana runs out of time, and then they punt to start the second half. So we're back with the ball. Already up 22 to 9. There we go. Alua Kuhn again a 9, makes it second and 1. On second and 1, we're going to check down to Kern. We get 11 yards and a first down. On first down, oh, Cameron Bradley wide open. Our tight end, great block followed by a missed tackle. And Bradley is going to be down inside the one, a gain of 42 yards. And first and goal, we're just going to throw it short, incomplete. That's okay. That's okay. Second and goal, we're going to run it with Kern. He gets a touchdown. It's 28-9. We're going for two. We hit Kern, and we're up 30-9. to nine. Indiana gets the ball back here. They're driving, and they get a touchdown. They get the extra point. It's 30-16 to 16 as we start the fourth quarter. Notre Dame, we're starting with the ball. You want to get a quick touchdown. We've got about 40 seconds to get that touchdown. Lua Kuhn caught 16 yards first down. We're down to 229 left. We want to score. We want to get a stop, and we want to get the ball back. We're down to 220 left. Second and two. Going to run with Kern. I was kind of confused how to manage the clock here, but we get the first down. We're at 210. Okay, we're going to hit Sweezy. Out of bounds. Gain of seven. 206 left. And here we go. We're going to hit Kern. Strafe out. Gain of 16. Down to the 10. With a minute 53 left, I think at this point, yeah, we're going to go for the end zone here. Oh, tackled. Minute 44 left, and then we hit Bradley for the touchdown. That makes it 36-16. We're going for two. We've got to go for two. No way we're not going for two. I think I'm just trying to figure out, do I want to use an audible here? I probably won't need one. We're going to actually run it with Kern. That was a bad choice, but it worked out. He broke a tackle. And now Indiana, they throw a pick. That is pretty miraculous. We get the ball back. 27 seconds left. We're going to hit Sweezy. He breaks a tackle out of bounds. Gain of 13. We're going end zone or broke. And we hit Cameron Bradley for the touchdown. That's 44-16. We're going to dial up the two-point conversion and try to make it 46-16. And, yeah, we're just going to go with the play we're given. We hit Sweezy, and it's 46-16. Indiana can't do anything. So we win by 30. Now we've got Wake Forest highlights. Wake Forest, of course, a top-five team in the nation. They start off with a touchdown at 7-0. Getting our first drive underway, we hit Oluakun. Oluakun has developed well between week one and this is week 11. Oh, I was so happy with that strafe and that strafe. 47 yards, but I had two strafes directly lead to missed tackles. First and goal at the 10, we're going to hit, oh, Cameron Bradley. He turned back. This game was after the most recent update. I'm not sure if that play was a result of it. Regardless, we got the touchdown there to make it 7-6. Six. 
but it seemed like in the old update that would have been there. Now we fail the two-point conversion, so stay 7-6 Wake Forest punts. We're back on offense, and we're going to hit Bradley 11 yards first down. On first down, we're going to throw two. I believe that is Sweezy. Yes, it is. The defender misses. Now Sweezy is falling behind Oluakun because Sweezy's stamina is so low. We step out of bounds for a gain of 43. And on first and goal, we're going to hit on the wheel route Cameron Bradley for the touchdown to make it 12-7. Going for two, we get the default. It's 14-7. Wake Forest gets the ball back. They're driving. They get a touchdown and the PAT. It's 14 all. Here we go on offense. We're going to hit a Luakun. He gets loose down the sideline. And with his superior stamina to Jay Sweezy, even if his speed isn't quite up to snuff, he gets a gain of 44 yards. Then on the next play, we're going to hit the comebacker to Sweezy. He makes a man miss on the strafe. The defender dives and misses the tackle, and we get the touchdown. It's 20-14. to 14. Make it 22-14. to 14. With a minute 50 left, Wake Forest punts. We get the ball with a minute 18. We're going to hit on the streak our wide receiver, and now that is Sweezy. You can tell because he ran out of steam. But regardless, we're down to the 30. With the first down, a minute left in the half. We're going to look for Cameron Bradley. He catches it, fights through a tackle, gets 17 yards down to the 13. On first and 10, we're going to check down to Monte Kern, and we get tackled at like the goal line, but just short of a touchdown. We hit Bradley for the touchdown. Run a few more seconds off, and it's 28-14 going for two. It's 30-14, to 14, 33 seconds left in the half. Wake Forest gets the ball, and they miss a field goal. So we got a little bit lucky, but we'll take it. Starting the second half, we get the ball. We hit on the streak, our wide receiver. Judging by how he is running, that looks like it was Jay Sweezy, and it was... But regardless, he had just enough in him to get the touchdown. It's 36-14. The two-point conversion, which is caught on a deflection, makes it 38-14. Wake Forest gets the ball. They start a drive, and they get a touchdown. So it's 38-21. We're going to play it out, though. We hit a Luakun gain of eight. About 13 seconds left in the quarter. And we're going to hit, I think that is caught. That looks like Oluakun. No, that's Sweezy. That's got to be Sweezy. He ran out of gas. But we're down at the three for a gain of 61. And it's first and goal. On first and goal, we're going to hit our wide receiver, Jarrell Oluakun. It's 44-21. Going for two, and it's 46-21. Wake Forest gets the ball, and they're going to start their drive. They get a field goal. It's 46-24, a minute 47 left. I'm just going to get one more touchdown, make it 54-24 if I can, and then call it a game there. Sweezy with the catch. He's rumbling, stumbling down to the 14-yard line. Did I run too quickly? I might have. But we're going to hit Cameron Bradley for a touchdown. Make it 52-24. Minute 18 left. Maybe we get a stop and get the ball back. Maybe we do that. We get the two. It's 54-24. Wake Forest. They punt. We get the ball. 17 seconds left. We're going to use our audibles. Give us a good play call. They don't. But we hit a default. Stiff arm. Out of bounds. Live for the next play. We're going to go deep. We're going to hit Cameron Bradley. And we dive down. Timeout with a second left. And with a second left, we're going to go for the play because I don't have a kicker. 
Now, Bosby could only throw that far. It's caught by a Luakun for 17 yards, but he's tackled, so we win 54-24. And then to wrap up today's video, I thought we'd do a stat recap. Now, Bosby, I forgot I was using him. He actually threw two interceptions because in tanking, you've got to throw interceptions so you don't score. Monte Kern at running back has picked up the load big time during the tank. 250 carries, 2,008 yards, 471 more receiving. Cameron Bradley, 206 receiving yards and seven touchdowns in the three games he's played. Jay Sweezy, 13 catches, 322 yards, two touchdowns when he's played. And then freshman Jarrell Oluokun, 105 catches, 1,262 yards, 13 touchdowns. We've been playing him his freshman year, so... All of these guys will be sophomores next season and play well. Our defense we've played all the way through. Yannick Switzer, 145 tackles. Johnson Knapp, 84 tackles and a sack. Case Sudfeld, 36 tackles and a sack. Von Berry, 62 tackles and two interceptions. J.P. Curry, 31 tackles. And that is it for the stats. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you're new around here, subscribe for more Retro Bowl content with Notre Dame on Saturdays, the Minnesota Vikings on Sundays, and then Monday through Friday is some type of rebuild or team builder video as well. With all of that being said, that's going to do it for now though. Thanks everyone for tuning in, and until next time, and as always, peace out.